Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my little hack. I have created a very, very cool build, a flush spiral keycard door. You see a lot of spiral doors on YouTube, but you don't see many, if any, flush spiral doors. It's in this clef, but as you can see, can I see anything apart from the drop with the button, which is the key card. Now, this is made up of three individual pieces. We have the flush spiral door, which is my own design. Yay me. We have the keycard entry system that's by the Bowtie Man, who's absolutely awesome. And we also have a compact variable pulse extender by, by Cortizarino. Now, I will leave um, links to Cortizarino and the Bowtie Man's build, but for right now, let's show off this belt. Okay, so you can't see anything. The door is completely hidden apart from the key card. So let's open the door. Now then, okay, because this is a flush secret door in a cliff, it reminded me a little bit of the Mines of Borea. So as a nod to the Lord of the Rings, as a nod to the Lord of the Rings, I have called the key card Methlock. <laughs> Right, so we put the key card in, we press, we press the button, come on Danny, and a spiral flush secret door opens. We take the key card out and the door closes. And we press the exit button and the door opens from the inside and gives you about a 10 second delay to get through. So let's see how all this works. Do, do, do. Uh, let's go up here. That's probably the best way to do it. Right. I should have thought of that before. Okay, so this is the elongated version of the Bowtie Man's keycard entry system. Okay. Probably best going this way. Do -ba -do -ba -do. And this is my spiral flush door system. That's from the top. If I can get a bit closer to the bottom area. Boo -de -boo. Okay, there it is. Now, this, I will show you now the extended, the very compact pulse extender. Here we go, it works on droppers. I don't know why I've got those there. It works on dropper system. As you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five by two. And that is it. And it works by putting a number of blocks in a hopper. The more blocks you put in, the more of the pulse gets extended and it's longer. If I put in more blocks, it would have a longer pulse. If I put in less blocks, it would be a lot shorter. So fair play to Cortez Arino for coming up with that. So yeah. Let's get out. If I can remember how. Go out and you can see the door close in kind of a flush spiral. Oh no, it just opens in a spiral. See that again? 
Ta-da! Now, each of the individual three pieces took about half an hour, 45 minutes to make. The tricky bit was getting the timings right and spiraled up. However, it took me over an hour to make all three pieces work simultaneously. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you do like that, leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.